Welcome to the purgatory, Shepard. Not heaven, not hell. So? Legoland? Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. I'm not buying a word of this. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I want... Uh, save you the recap. In fact, I'll do the shorthand for you. I want my soul back, Egypt. Afraid not. But I'm surly and I got a beard. Gilly! Blah, blah, blah. Homespun, corn pone insult. Witty retort from yours truly. The bottom line is, you get bupkis. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Well, you look like hammered crap. And you're a vision, as always. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. No! No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Balls. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. But if I'm being honest, it's been hell. Thought that was the point. You know what the problem with demons is? They're demons? Exactly. Evil, lying prats, the whole lot of them. And stupid. Try to show them a, a new way, a better way. And what do you get? Bugger all! Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. I'm trying to avoid it. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You lion sacker. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't. And each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent and their home planets pay well to keep them here. We're making merry, have we? Bite me. That's your thing. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. You use your inmates for extortion. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. You may be king of the dirtbags here, but in life, you were nothing but a two-bit tailor who sold his soul in exchange for an extra three inches below the belt. Just trying to hit double digits. Let's get on with this. Bet it'd be hell trying to escape from this place. Reading people's faces, knowing what the cards by the Balls. way they We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. I can see you're out of it. Come on. For a taste of Come whiskey, I'll give you some advice. Oh. You got to But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Awesome. You got anything else to go on? Yeah, my skin crawls being in the same room with him. Don't you look that up? I'm working on it. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Torture. 
These are some sick freaks. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. I wasn't asking. You're in a high security facility with guns and cameras everywhere, and you're threatening me? Those guns and cameras won't be fast enough to save you. Is that right? I told you to stop. Call it off. At least for now. Hey. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. I pity you. I'm sorry? You're sad and pathetic, and I pity you. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. The guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Whoa, whoa, hey, come on, man. Now I'm scarred for life. Thank you. I should go. Wish I could go. Now processing's through the door on the far side of the room. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Story of my life. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Go to hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. <laughs> Kick Bo Derek out of your bathtub. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. He kept demonstrably unjust persons from inflicting their will on others. That alone deserves respect. Okay, okay, please stop. Lockdown in blocks 4, 7, and 8!
You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. They always talk too much. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Do I look like Dr. Phil to you? What the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? My name is Shepard and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. It is a dangerous and short-lived existence. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. You'd be my first mate. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple.
I should go. Yep. So, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the subdeck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. I was fine. Now he white knuckled his way through four puke bags. Well, at least I was sober. Some nut job decided to try something. I was ready. I had a fork. <laughs> Mark on two, clear. I was thinking of installing some lava lamps, maybe Christmas lights for ambience. What do you think? It takes skill to make a ship bank in a vacuum. Don't think it doesn't. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back. But keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but... You've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The Krogan are dangerous enough already. With an unchecked birth rate, they could endanger the whole galaxy. Exactly. Solarian government agreed. Authorized STG to take steps. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. You were protecting galactic stability. I'm glad to see you were willing to do what was necessary. Indeed. Collectors doing horrific things may face hard choices. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results-at-all-costs kind of guy. 
Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. You liked what you saw, Mr. Taylor? I meant that you were an example of what we can do, Shepard. Commander. I don't want this to get weird. I should get back to my duties. Everything has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. Did I put you off, Jacob? You seem rattled. That's enough for now, Commander. We can talk later. Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Yeah, thanks.